I'll be a bully right now by any means. So just let me know. I'll be a bully right now online. Do y'all watch the show we do together? He bullies me on a weekly basis. Yes, check out me and I Godcast YouTube Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. But anyway. Welcome back to the Not A Mean Godcast. I'm Raw Jamal. I'm Digger Digger. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, we back. Uh, we apologize for missing the show last week. Uh, we had some technical difficulties, you know, in our transition. You know, we had little bumps in the road. Um, I was on an island somewhere. But anyway, uh, we back. Uh, I think you see we got our sound right right now. Can you hear us? Check one, two, sound check. Digger. One, two, mic check. Uh-huh. Rage. Check, check, one, two, when oh, you don't stop. Oh, shit. We uh, fucking Rage got a mic. The, we the moving cracking. up. In the, uh, rage got a motherfucking camera. Go, go to the Rage camera real quick. Hi, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. We got a Rage DJ Back camera. Back to both of them tag teaming me, being strong and wrong. Uh-oh. <laughs> Pause. She said tag team, and we're not no me. Oh. No me too on the tag team, god damn it. We're not doing that around here. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for bearing with us. Uh, I didn't want to put out a, sub -pro uh, a subpar product, so we just said, you know what? We're not just going to put out a show that last week. And we just had to scrap that one, but we back. That's cool. It was actually um, a snowstorm. I had Uggs on. Now, before we get started... Um, I just want to acknowledge we have some new personnel in the house right about now. Um, I put out a call on on Instagram for some for some you know dedicated people to come in and be interns for us here in the United Mean Godcast, and definitely people answer the call. Thank you for everybody that you know sent in your resume. Clap it and, up for them. Yes, yeah, clap it up. Clap it up, Rage. Clapping, clapping, clapping sound effects. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we are. Okay. We're going to get it. Uh huh. We're on uh -huh. point. We're on point. This timing down. Uh huh. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you know, many shall come, but only a few shall be chosen, and those that are chosen choose themselves. So, um, we have three chosen ones that we'd like, I'd like to acknowledge. Um, on this camera right here, we got my man Sid up in the house right about this time. Um, on this camera over here, on Digger Digger's camera, we got my man Johnny Fastlane in the place. Okay. Uh, and on the sound, we got my man Corey up in the place to be, family and all of that. And I just want to thank y'all for joining the team and understanding that we are a work in progress, doing progressive work. That's right. As Digger so eloquently said. And hey, what's that y'all read? Jersey? Anybody? Oh, well, we got BK right here. Uh, we got Harlem Uptown. Uh, and we got another BK right there. Really? No Jersey. Oh, oh, what happened to all the No, no. Nobody from Jersey? Listen, oh, I, I would like us to get a Jersey intern. So let's look into that. Okay. Okay? Because it would be dope if we could, you know what I mean? Somebody, yeah. And then, yeah, we need a personal, Rob Digger needs a personal assistant. Okay, let's keep it real. Yeah. Because sometimes she needs somebody to carry her Uggs. I need somebody from to carry a to my B. Uggs on uh -huh. and offset. You need somebody to grab you and take you to the to the uh what's that, the seven eleven over there? Yeah, on, yeah. Uh huh. On the way to the set. She yeah. gotta go to the seven eleven. Always gotta stop at seven eleven. A little thing and Yeah. Yeah. So listen, right. if you'd like to be in the grace in the in the Well see, I don't I think it should be a female though. Because I think these thirsty niggas would be too, you know, I think they would be too excited to jump in the chance to drive man. Rod Digger. Chicks be thirsty too, man. I don't this, know. It depends. This is true, and we are in that new age. Yeah. We are in that new age. Well, listen, um, before we get started, if you'd like to donate to the show, go to cash.b slash dollar sign, you're not a mean, patreon.com slash you're not a mean, or you're not a mean dot com slash support. We appreciate everything you do. As you see, we're building all the time. Oh, also go to hoodgy.com 
you want some of that you're not a mean gear some of that lyrics matter gear brand new being gear uh rod digger gear all of that you know what i mean so anyway since we last spoke uh rod digger and i now we spoke about this actually right in the last episode but we that gotta didn't come it, out because it's way too though we got to recap it because between her this is we kind of dubbed this whole scenario <laughs> trunky 2.0 okay now those of you that have followed the show might recall an incident when digger and i went to san diego and there was a little the story you know, of Trunky. Yeah, there was a little story of Trunky, the little white kid dragging his little suitcase on a leash. And, you know, he was getting in everybody's way. And, you know, I may or may not have kicked his little his little suitcase <laughs> over. I don't know. Can't confirm or I deny. I can't confirm or deny, but I may have kicked it just so I can get around his little ass. You know what I mean? Because he's holding up the fucking Well, works. I'm not a snitch, but one minute the boy was pulling <laughs> Trunky. Then Jamar just shuffled past him. And next thing you know, Trunky was on his side. But he's still pulling Trunky, not giving a fuck that it's not on its wheels anymore. I didn't see a thing. And, 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 and Digger's trying to help him up, you know, right his Trunky. Yeah. But Trunky. He tried to put Trunky back on his feet. He didn't give a fuck. This and he got went, mad at me. He's just pulling Trunky on his side, not giving a fuck. Like, like. It is what it is. He's a little white kid in a white boy's world, and it didn't matter that Trunky was not was holding his, up the line. Yeah, sitting sideways. But I got around. So, so anyway, if y'all thought that was mean of Jamar, let me tell you about the story of Howard. Now this is not mean, but but some things happened. Let's go ahead. <laughs> All right. Basically, I might need to uh, light up this pre-roll while we talk. talk in a nutshell, that. Jamar made. The Parkland school shooting survivor cry. Kids, I get told like this for us to sit here and encourage bullying when that is the, the reason that the two of us are sitting up here. It's not something we can tolerate at all. First of all, I want to apologize for upsetting the young sister right here. That is not my intention. Hang on, let me let me let me uh, let me just uh, jump in if if I may. First of all, you act like there's only one. Like, like they all oh, got killed. Wait. Like she's unbreakable. Or something. Like they all got killed one, one, and the lone okay. survivor okay. One, and one, I one. made her cry. No, see, one, no. All right, so let me let me put this into context for you because that probably sounded horrible just now. Um, so, yeah, it, it was as horrible as it sound. But, um, so we're doing a panel discussion. I'm the first moderator. of all, no one makes anybody do anything. But anyway, go ahead. I'm the moderator. Uh, we have a professor from a, Yale, a professor from Yale, as well as Jamar to my right and to my left. A professor we, from the streets. We have, um, wow, I don't, I don't have her, uh, her name in front of me. I think Alea Eastman, I believe her name is. Something to that and, effect. Um, I call her crybaby, but and, go ahead. <clears throat> and, uh, another gentleman who's like a, I guess, a, like a student advocate. I call um, him Captain Saber Survivor, but go ahead. Younger gentleman. So, mm -hmm. first of all, shout out to my man, Elijah Porter, for bringing us down. Word. Fine young man. Um, you know, gracious host. Appreciate him. Um, so, I'm on, a, I'm on a panel with... Um, Alea Eastman, who, Alea who, Eastman. Who was one of the uh, survivors of the Parkland school shooting in Florida along with another gentleman who was a, a I guess a, a a student advocate or like a, a a crisis advocate if you will yeah something like that Some, something to that effect and um and I, I forget the gentleman's name he's a professor at yeah, Yale he's a professor at Yale and he was an older gentleman type of brother that right could have walked with Martin Luther or something right like that. right you know what I mean he's from that era and I was the moderator, so basically to my right, you got the old heads, and to the left, you got the, you know, the the, kid, the millennials. And we were discussing gun violence, and... And uh, everything was going fine. Everything was going fine until our dear brother Jamar said, 
Well, I think we need more bullies. <laughs> I that's think not what I said. We need. We, no, no, that's no, not you, what no, I you, said. What you say? We need. I said bullying is bullying, needed. No, he said bullying point, is needed. That's what I said. And so is shaming. And I no, said, I said so is shaming. Girl, I know what I said. You said you, you might know, agree with you me. You said bullying is needed. I said bullying is needed, and so is shaming. I said no, of course. Certain so bullying things. is necessary. Absolutely, listen. Bullying, shame is necessary in society. Like they, oh, you're shaming me. Yeah, I'm shaming you because what you did was shameful, and shame is needed sometimes. Uh, bullying, when I was coming up, added character to a person. The bully would not either you're gonna get pumped or you're gonna step up to the to the plate and do what you gotta do. Now I'm not talking about you know persecution. You know, because some people get persecuted. They'll take the bully to the next level. And they're really just persecuting a person. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about average rites of passage type of bully. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like, okay. like being, being a slut shaming. I, I, I don't know. I think I said shame, Slut shaming, shaming, bro. shaming is, should, is, is needed I, because I, being I think, a slut I think is when shameful. The, I think when the crowd started throwing tomatoes at you, I, I had to bring introduce the shame. Like, wait, wait. He didn't mean like like bully bully. He meant like, you know, moral. Let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me just uh, jump in if, if I may. I think what, I, I think, you know, because I, I work with his brother, so I, I, know, I know his heart and I, I know exactly know some of the things that you know that drives his intentions when we I think maybe we're using the word uh, bullying just as a blanket statement I do feel that we are in a society where you know we're start we're, we're almost living in like a lawless land where there is no moral ground like we can't even distinguish who the moral compasses are in society so to some degree there is certain activity that does need to be quote unquote shamed and, and, and now with so many people saying oh you know you're such and such shaming you're, you're slut shaming you're this shaming well at some point we do need to pull if if we want the lawlessness to stop we do need to pull back sometimes and just kind of distinguish hey okay we're getting a little too far out of pocket with this behavior let's bring it back and the only way to really make those right, wrong, or, you know, morally sound uh, distinctions is by, you know, quote, unquote, shame. But I, I, don't, I, don't, even, you know, I, I think you know I want the shame I'm always ready to go to the videotape because we have <laughs> clips I actually, of the thing. I honestly don't. And, and I, listen, I've been wrong before. I honestly before. don't remember, but no, no. I've been wrong before when I be like, well, shit, let's go to the motherfucking videotape. And then, <laughs> Strong and wrong. No, you know yeah. what? I'm a, I ain't even going to debate. I'm going to give it to you because he definitely said bullying was needed. And he spoke with such an authority. And I said, now, I'm not talking about persecution. I said the kind no, of bullying that no, but they didn't get wait, wait, wait. They didn't they didn't get that yet. Yeah, they no. didn't hear they, all they that. didn't get that yet. Like they he like he's trying to explain. Oh yeah, yeah. Me. First I just said because actually I was going off of what the the, the, the professor had said some shit about mm -hmm. in his answer and he said something about bullying and da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And I said, I hear you. I said, but listen, bullying is needed. Right. And I said, and so is shaming. And so mm -hmm. then he was like, mm. No, you, you, know? you did you did say bullying builds character. So, right. <laughs> so at some point over here to my left, you got the millennials who are basically controlled by the internet. Um, <clears throat> the the sister speaks up and she's like, you know, she starts getting emotional and she's like, um, she's talking about how, you know, bullying. Uh, well, basically, what happened at her school was a result of bullying, and. At some point when, at the point where, you know, Jamar was trying to clarify, you know, about the building character and, you know, the, the, the shaming, I look to my left and she's just over there, like, like literally. So you're not fully, yeah. I'm, I'm not missing fully stuff? Because, okay. Am I missing stuff? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. You know bit. what? It, uh, my apologies, because it, it was several weeks ago. Right. So, so I'm, I'm trying even to though remember. I smoke weed, it's I have a very, I, I have a All very I good memory. Was Jamal made the <laughs> made the school shooting survivor cry? So, so what had happened was, you know, by me saying the thing about bullying, we were supposed to go into a Q and A, 
But instead of that, they got the bright idea and said, let's go down this road about bullying right, and shit right, like right, that. Right, 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 uh, right. That Jamal happened. brought up. So they did that. So so now homegirl's like, I want to say something to you. And so now you're looking like, who are you talking about, me? Oh, yeah, and then, And then you, and then him. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, and, and so oh. and she's like, no, him. You know, like, 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 uh. I'm Bernie Mac, like him downstairs, like you know, I was him downstairs to her. So anyway, so so she's like him. I don't think bullying is um, should be uh, at all. Like basically, there should be no bullying at all. You know, so I got into a slight sparring match with her. And, and uh, at one point she says, and sorts. at one point as she's speaking, she says. <laughs> I'm sorry if I get emotional, right? Oh, yeah. That she was the, that was the start off. She bodied that. And now and now for, and that. also, um, just to set the stage, when she said, you know, I disagree with him. I don't think there should be any bullying. When she said that, the whole crowd is now like like my, my guy, bullied me with applause. And then the guy and shit. jumped to her know. defense. And they then, no, to, matter of fact, then you had a little back and forth with him because she was like, "Let me ask you something. Right? Do, do you do you hike on your homeboys? Right? Like, do you yeah. snap on you, people? You make fun of like he, that's a form of bullying." He was like, "Yeah, but we shouldn't do it." Right? And I'm okay, like, "You okay?" Punk-ass. So then, so then it started getting a li- so then it started getting a little crazy. So I, as the moderator, I had to reel it back in, like, "Hang on." And this was, I think, you know, the biggest take. Right, but as me. hang on, as yeah. as. Captain Save a Survivor was trying to talk for the little girl. And first of all, she's not no little girl. Like, I guess she in high school, but whatever, you know. She's young. She's, she's young, but older. It happens. You know? She's traumatized. If she even. Oh, oh, no, wait, no. Look, 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 don't start that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying this. We things don't called crisis actors out there, and I don't know. I don't know. I ain't seen her transcripts. Don't say But anyway, let, I'm just going to assume she is. She does go to that school, and that was real. But anyway, um, so, so while he's talking, she starts, like, really now boo-hooing, and they're like, Bring no, she did that while you were talking, cause I, cause while you, so, somebody okay. was over oh, here right. talking, and I just so happened, like in my peripheral, I just saw like. So I'm talking, movement. and she and she starts boohooing. See, that was a way to try to nullify what I was saying by, with her little fucking tears. Oh, yeah, so she, now they bringing her, they bringing her. You know, then. so she had one or two tears. She pulled the one or two tears out. It wasn't like a flood, but she was boohooing on stage. You know what I mean? And it was all because she claims that, you know, there should be no bullying. And bullying is what caused the killing of the people in her school. Now, she admittedly said, though, that school shootings represent only about 2% of the shootings that go on in this country. So now I ask you, young sister, like... Do you have tears for poverty, homelessness, just um, joblessness? Like, because these are these, hold up, but these are the things that really contribute. Hold up. These are the things that really contribute to the murders that we're dealing with in the world, not bullying. So, but so you can't relate to that. She is not that's, about that's, that's her, what I'm that's, that's her reality. No, this is her Who's selective they? outrage. No, I, and you I, I, I call, and you say that all the time because selective outrage. poverty and homie in the hood getting killed that shit that we saw. Maybe she, that her it's, homie in the hood got killed in the classroom. Listen, listen, so you, listen. You can't, what I'm saying you can't is, minimalize, you it's can't not minimize. even just homie in the hood, I, like, like, like. You got war. You got all kinds of shit that bullying is the least of our but, fucking problems. So this was my takeaway. And, 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 and what this, I wanted to say, some of, the, some of my points about bullying was, what's the difference between medicine and poison? And people say, huh, what's the difference between medicine and poison? The dosage. The dosage determines... If you're going to get well or if you're going to die from it. So when I talk about bullying, I'm talking about medicinal bullying. I'm talking about the kind of bullying that builds character in a person 
and teaches them a lesson about fucking life. But the take the takeaway is what what they're bull- talking what, about persecution. What bullying is to us isn't what bullying is to them. Like they they have a whole nother like definition and you know thing going on with bullying. Like because bully to us was the gooch. <laughs> you know, they're on the But it's still it's still stroke. the gooch. It's still the gooch. They just don't want to deal with the gooch. Like and but like they, you but, said, but don't I don't want to say y'all is soft. Oh, I did. But say y'all, that. I was like, I don't want to say y'all soft, but yeah, but y'all, y'all get a little too emotional over like <laughs> internet comments and trolls and shit. I did say that, but I think she was like, she might have still been crying when I said that. Right, and then I I I, I went into the part when we still, you know talking about internet bullying, and I'm like, how is there, you know, how could you really get internet bullied when you can just block someone? And turn but off the comments. I don't, because we are we are accustomed to growing up in a time when that stuff didn't exist. Like that's all they know. That's their life. All I'm saying to you, you can brother still Jay, block somebody. All I'm saying to you is, even though their struggle seems like silly to us, don't minimize it because we didn't. We're 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 not coming. It's up not a matter in of minimizing it. Like they didn't. They like they didn't come up when we were out on the corner in the blocks and and, and stuff like they. They're dealing with a, a, a different wave. Can I speak so. on that? Can I can I can I drop something on that, please? Go ahead, because I want I want everybody to hear that your mic is so crisp and clean, so clean with no today. caffeine. <laughs> Go ahead. What's funny when you talk about um, social media? You talk about opt-in culture. <clears throat> In other words, you can't get bullied on social media if you don't create an account and join the conversation. Similarly, on the block, I know when I grew up that you could avoid where like the pack of dudes is hanging on the steps. But at a certain point, you wanted to be initiated. And you took a chance and said, let me go in there. And they put you through the initiation. Get on your kicks. Get on what you're wearing. You got a slap box. You got to take an L. And that was a form of like coming up of age. So I think it's similar. It's just that we're talking about doing that electronically in social media. So yeah, it is medicine. In fact, I would honestly say... I'm not disagreeing with him, but what I'm saying is don't them like because they res- because what no, I'm what, saying, what we what, it's what not, they if, consider if, if bullying we consider soft and what I'm saying is if that's what makes you cry that's cool but I'm just saying have tears for the other things that cause murders too not just your selective oh because this is the premise that you're running around the country on from you know school to school or Congress and all these different places that you're making this platform off of you know, where bullying fits into your shit. Let's, you as a black woman in America, let's talk about issues that we as black people- But that's something that's personal to her. But but that should be personal to her too. That's what I'm saying, why you went went all up in arms over the crack era? Cause she don't know that shit. It's not about the crack era. I'm I'm saying that is Is she up in arms about the police? I'm saying that's Is she shedding tears? Okay, right now in her time, the police is shooting down people, shooting down niggas in the street on the internet. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Listen to what I'm saying. Police are shooting down niggas on the internet, on our face, okay. every day. Is she shedding tears about that? We don't All know. I'm sa- we don't know. I want, and that's what I'm saying. All we, I'm saying we don't is, know. I don't. Don't just have your selection. She running tears. around all over if the you place so, talking if about you're so gun emotional, violence. I would imagine that's a part so of it. you're so emotional that I can't even talk about bullying. First of all, maybe you shouldn't be because out on the these. Word bully maybe you shouldn't be out on these speaking tours. Maybe you're not psychologically prepared or ready to be out here discussing these things, and you should get some counseling. Before you go out here, because if I just say the word boo, that's, that's bully part, and you start boo hooing, that's part of the you know <laughs> I got a problem with that. That's part but, of the that's part of the rollout though. So listen, I mean, were you a bully, digger? Keep it a buck. Were you a bully? Was I a bully? Yeah. No. Yeah. Talk to your friends. We'll see. Not, not at all. No. Matter of fact, I had to I had to pay somebody to to uh, I paid some I gave somebody uh, money to, that I won uh, rapping to to. Uh, Get this other guy off my back. So, well, you're manipulating. At the end of the day, <laughs> I was. You know who I was? If this was the wire, I was. Um, uh, what's my man? The who, the who's the one that always um the negotiator one? I forgot his name. Damn. I'm still not. 
Oh my God! From the Wire, who, who, who the, the situation dude? What was what was his name? I throw him in the heavy set dude. Oh, I'm at, I'm gonna have I to forget. Google him. Yeah, but oh my God. listen, at the end of the day, you know, Digger couldn't wait to come and tell y'all that I made. He made the girl cry. I, I was Georgie Porgy, and I made the little girl cry. Okay. Um, I did apologize. And for the record, I, I did apologize for the record, to her on stage. I totally stage. agree with his bullying theory. I do think bullies are necessary. I just don't. I just don't. I just think where you come from. I don't think you're cognizant of what that does to them. Like if you like, I I can't imagine being in a school where like. Somebody really pulled out a damn semi-automatic weapon. Well, let's shot. first of like, all, it sound unheard of. But now, see, now, that's some that's some white boy shit. See, that, like and, we don't do that as and, black people. Okay, if I'm, we bring a gun to school, it's for a specific person. Now listen, now that me, motherfucker now gonna me, get now, shot, and get, the nigga who shot him is out. We get that. Now let me. Now let me. Now let we me, ain't gonna me, shoot up the whole school. Me, uh, you believe me? Boom! Now, boom! Now, boom! Now, we don't do that dumb shit. Minute. In a classroom, that's her trigger. Whereas we not triggered in the classroom. Now this same girl will fuck around and walk down the number streets of Newark and just be la da 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 da. Whereas a motherfucker like me would be like, so you can't, you know, you can't say what who is allowed to be triggered by what. Like some people have no, tricks. I mean, who's allowed? But, I'm but, just but saying. Say, I would hope. But don't say. I, you know, all I say is, I would hope. That, it's just. It's all just, I'm it's saying is, I would hope. Everybody has You got triggers. tears for this. I want to see that you can also have tears for that. That's all. I will hope That's so all. too. I will hope That's so. That's all. I will hope so too. It's all relative to gun okay. violence. Or are we just keying in on something? I think that too. And I think that too. And maybe, maybe not her. I don't. I don't think that she may necessarily, you know, be the one. But I'm pretty well, sure. Listen, I'm pretty sure there are PR persons surrounding her. It wasn't my intentions to make her cry. I know you thought it was funny. That I, made, I made her funny. cry, but I apologized to her on stage. Proposition Joe. Look, I didn't even get to Google prop, yet. That's all I was thinking Joe. about from Wire. Gotcha. Proposition Joe. That was me. I got a situation for you. <laughs> I got a proposition for you. There you go. That that was me in school. <laughs> one, last, one, one last question. Um, with your child, what would you what would you say was the most like poignant experience you had with your child? Like, let's put some skin in the game. What are you talking about? What you mean? You have, you have, you have a daughter, right? Uh huh. Okay. So. Oh, I thought you. I thought you. Are you talking? You're not talking about trauma related. My daughter went through some shit. My daughter watched her best friend get shot in the head. So like I, you know what I'm saying? Like I, this. There's all types. And that's like, what I'm saying. Like, like, we've all suffered some trauma. Like, absolutely. like, like, as she was crying, it was like, absolutely. Really, little girl. Like, I've seen people's brains get blown out right in front of me. Like, absolutely. like, but something like, like, but something I, might I, it's trigger tra you. It's traumatic. But something might trigger you that won't trigger her because she ain't, you know, she ain't. Experience. I just feel that like legit. don't don't act like you're the only one. Like you don't have the, the yeah, market cornered on you know sadness about death. Like you know what I mean about absolutely. gun violence. You don't have the market cornered on that. So, gotcha. I'm with you, I'm, I'm with you big bro. Mom. So anyway, you. Wait, I'm sorry. I and you have, you have to your question. I didn't. You said how do I? You, well, you kind of answered. I was just asking because I know usually you could be we could be objective, but Three as minutes. a mother, I was trying to ask you. Do you remember one particular time where your daughter may have been young, came home with a fight or a bruise? Like, what did you tell her? Like, you go to the parents, it's like, hey, what's happening? Do you show her how to make a fist and go back in the playground? And, um, you know what I mean? One time my daughter was 11. I told her, don't take her ass outside. She did some slick shit and asked her father. Her father let her go outside. I was out of town for the day and she got jumped. So I had to go back outside the next day and, uh, and uh, you know, check the temperature of the neighborhood, and and everybody found realized it was my daughter, and and likes had died. So you know that that ended real quick, but you know that was one of those oh, oh my god, we had no idea, but 
Well, one, one brief she, anecdote. Um, but she, um, well, I mean, you know, to, to her credit, it was actually another girlfriend of hers uh, that was getting punked or whatever. And my, my daughter, like, she, you know, she loves... She got hands. She got hands. She's about that life. Why? (laughs) She jumped in to fight for her friend. Like there was some girls being a little African girl, and the girls were being mean and you know disrespecting the girl and her mother. So you know, my daughter came to her defense, and that girl ended up running. So my and my daughter ended up fighting these. And you had a small victory. Tell the truth. You had a victory as a mother. You had to. You had a victory. I mean. My daughter then, I, my daughter then, I done got a phone call from school about my daughter knocked some girl out because the girl Christ. said her mother don't rap better than Nicki Minaj. Like, <laughs> I, done, I done got all kind of, I done got all kind of mama calls. So, you know. Well, listen. Shouts out to my baby. Before we go to break. Not promoting violence. Teaching her how to, uh, you know, she's a young lady. She's very hot head. Uh, she gets it from my mother. My mom. <laughs> it's abusive. Was abusive to my dad. Uh, I'm joking about it, but it's like really not a joke. It's, <laughs> it's getting over me because I'm the most mild mannered person ever. But my mother cursed my father out to his grave. My my, my daughter, uh, she's crazy too, and mm. and we all are work in progress. <laughs> Doing not- progressive work. <laughs> listen, Black Family USA. <laughs> listen, before we go to break, um, I want to shout out. Uh, I have we have a new correspondent working with us. Okay, okay. Uh, his name is Uriah Brandon from UB News, and uh, right about now, before we go to break, we're gonna go to a clip from Uriah, and uh, yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of him on the United Mean Godcast. So check us out, and we'll be back. Peace. Peace. Hello, detective. Hey, Jesse, come come have a seat, Jesse. Please call me Jesse. I'm sorry, is Jesse? Uh, yes, Jesse. All right, Jesse. Come have a seat, Jesse. Thank you. Now, I, I know it's been a hard couple of days. Oh, and my God, yes. I'll, oh, my God. And I know you've told this story a million, hundred, a thousand times. When you go to Subway at 2 a.m., what, what kind of sandwich do you order? Usually the vegan bacon, but I forgot. Oh, okay. You don't remember. So, did you actually get a chance to order the sandwich, or you were leaving? What happened here? Like, had you been to the subway before? You weren't trolling for cock, Just, Jussie. Jussie. Oh my God, I was not. I can get you it if I want it. If cock, I want it, there, I can get there. I can get there you from anybody I want cock. that from. You can call Lee Daniels. Lee Daniels call me. All at subway at 2 a.m. Is, I mean, do you personally like Subway? All right, so, Jesse, Jesse, let me get this straight. So, there was a group of Trump-supporting white supremacists walking around Chicago at 2 a.m., um, they're fans of Empire? They watch Empire? Okay, so the white supremacists, they knew who you were. You wouldn't say they were fans of Empire. All right. And they were carrying nooses while shouting racist and homophobic slurs. Now, uh, what kind of sandwich did you order, Jess? What kind? Oh, you don't remember. Was this before or after you ordered the sandwich? You like Subway, Jess? Just curious. You're a, are you a big, you big Subway fan? You like 2 a.m. footlongs? Well. Brooklyn's historic The Black Lady Theater is now taking bookings. Host your next birthday party, concert, networking event, 
baby or bridal shower, wedding, art show, gala, corporate event, live stage play, audition, and so much more at the one and only The Black Lady Theater. Mention code GODCAST for 15% off your rental fee. Code good for the first time customers only. Valid for a limited time. Call 718-771-0900 to book your event today.